everybody, it's time for another track by track and another Maiden versus Priest track by track where we put my second favorite Iron Maiden album, The Killers versus Scream for Vengeance, which is, I'd say it's in my top five. I absolutely love this album. I like this one more, though I'm more of a Priest fan. My Maiden is with Diano. My favorite's the first one, this one's my second favorite. So let's do this, okay? All right, so we got the the Eyes of March versus the Hellion. Now uh, the Hellion is so short. Eyes of March is much longer and much better. I mean, not better, because I feel the Hellion is the greatest intro to any metal album ever. So I'm giving that one to Priest. Then we got Rothschild versus Electric Eye. That one's not that tough, but it's a little tough. Cause I love Rothschild. But Electric Eye, man, all the way. That fucking song is my favorite Judas Priest song from the 80s. Um, Murs in the Rude Mark versus Riding on the Wind. Damn it. Damn it. Riding on the Wind. But man, that was, that was a tough one. Shit. All right. Murs in the Rude Mark rules. Another Life, epic, versus Bloodstone, man. Priest is slaughtering here, four to zero. And I like this album more. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those episodes where the album I don't like as much wins. Okay, Another Life, uh, Guinness Khan, man. Anybody out there that thinks, oh, Clyde Burr wasn't that great, listen to Guinness Khan, and then shut the fuck up. Uh, versus Take These Chains. Man, I love Take These Chains. I really do. I saw Judas Priest play Take These Chains for the very first time ever. When they did their last tour, they opened in uh, Hollywood and they played it for the first time. Such an epic track, but dude, because of Clyde Burr alone, I gotta give it to Guinness Con. What an amazing instrumental. All right, Priest, I mean, uh, Maven finally got one. Innocent Exile, love that one, versus Pain of Pleasure. Fucking Innocent Exile, man. I gotta give it to that. I love Pain of Pleasure, but Innocent Exile, I don't give a fuck if they repeat the verse over and over again. It's such a slamming song. Gotta give it to that one. All right, the title track, Killer, versus Screamer for Vengeance. Priest, man. Love Killer. Killer actually has my favorite guitar solo from every, any Iron Maiden song. Dave Murray smokes on that, but Scream for Vengeance? Fuck that noise. That shit's fucking epic, man. Alright, and Prodigal Son. Oh my god. Probably my second favorite track on here. Versus, you got another thing coming. Look, I'm not saying this to be countercultural, because I never liked You Got Another Thing Coming. Even when the album came out, I was kind of surprised where I was like, that's the video for that album. That's my least favorite song on it. And it is, it's my least favorite song. I'm not a fan of songs with verse, riff, verse, riff. I, I find, I love, I love the solo KK, I mean, Glenn does on that, on that song. Then, Prodigal Son is a fucking masterpiece. And it doesn't sound like any Iron Maiden before or after. And I just think it's, Hands down the most underrated Iron Maiden song. And it's fucking gorgeous and, and it's just it's beyond amazing. So that one's simple. Gotta give it a prodigal son. Alright. Three to five. I still think this is gonna lose. Uh Purgatory, my favorite song off the album. Versus Fever. That that's a fucking great dark horse song on the album. Fever is like just beyond amazing. But uh, Purgatory definitely eclipses it. Eclipse, a total eclipse, no pun intended. I gotta give that one to me. Purgatory fucking rules. Last track, Drifter versus Devil's Child. I love Drifter, don't get me wrong, but Devil's Child, all the way. Holy fuck, man. 
The album I like the least won by a lot. Well, not by a lot, but very, very close, but still. Screamer got one, two, three, four, five, six, and Killers got four. So it won by two. The winner. But I don't like it as much as this album. But still, the winner. Screamer from Vengeance. Fuck yeah. Thanks for watching. Schmack a gob. This video is brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs and competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room, and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say, and we're going to go back and forth, and I'll even fucking play whatever request you want, unless it sucks. Then I ain't playing it because my show rules and only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker.